The drug cartels have operational control over America's southern border. It has got to come to an end. The drugs that are coming across uh, illegally flooding our communities with drugs like fentanyl, which are killing families all across America. Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise speaking right there. Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up. I'm Rob Finnerty. Close to 190,000 people crossed illegally at the southern border in the month of June. That's what we know about. That doesn't include gotaways. A million have crossed illegally since Joe Biden took office in the middle of January. But drugs are making their way into people's lives every single day here in America, and that's something that rarely gets mentioned. Joining us now for more on this is former DEA Special Ops Agent Derek Maltz back with us on the show. Uh, Derek, nice to see you again. I, I looked at the fentanyl numbers, and these are just... These numbers are stunning, and we're only still in July, so seven months of Joe Biden. Fentanyl seized at the border in 2020, a total of just over 4,000 pounds. Right now, we are, we're closer to 9,000 pounds, so 8,507 pounds of fentanyl seized by the Border, border Patrol. That's double, and we're still in July. What do you make of that? Good morning, Rob. So first of all, the cartels are the enemy of our children right now. There's a clear and present danger. Uh, to the population in America. Kids are dying at record levels. 234% increase in fentanyl seizures at the southern border for the first nine months of the fiscal year in 2021 compared to 2020. But Rob, the thing is, is that th there's a lethal alliance that's been formed between the cartels and the Chinese transnational criminals, right? If you watched uh, the news last week, there was a major indictment out of New York there were seven Chinese nationals involved with a $28 million money laundering operation. They had pickups all over 23 states in the country. And they, these guys were involved with laundering the proceeds for the cartels. So as the cartels are gaining strength and power from the migrant multi-billion dollar operation and the drug smuggling, the country is getting inundated. The families are waking up to loved ones dead in their bedrooms from the fentanyl poisoning. So the most important message on this show is this is no longer an opioid just addiction issue. We have fentanyl murders and fentanyl poisoning throughout our country. And that's what they should be called. Uh, you know, you think about Ronald Reagan's war on drugs, you know, largely that was about marijuana. This is not pot coming across the southern border. Fentanyl is incredibly dangerous and it, it's addictive beyond measure, but it's also far more deadly than many other drugs. Correct? Right. Exactly. So you got the, uh, the, the fentanyl chemicals, the precursor chemicals are made in these Wuhan style labs in China, sent to the cartels. They're making the fentanyl in the cartel labs. They're putting the powder uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the mules. They're sending it in cars and trucks. They're putting the powder in our country. They're buying pill presses from China. And then they're making these counterfeit pills. So the kids are being deceived. The kids are waking up. They want to take a Xanax because their mother and father take legitimate Xanax. Right. But what they don't realize is they're getting poisonous fentanyl that's killing them instantly. It's and terrible. that's the big problem. They're yeah. being deceived. Um, and the other thing, Rob, I would say this. This is my opinion based on my years of experience. The Chinese have weaponized America's drug addiction as they continue to jive, drive towards destabilizing our society. So that was my They're question. Like that was my question. Seen. These Chinese cartels, I want to talk about this because we keep hearing about the Northern Triangle in Mexico. Yet, when I look at the arrests in the countries of origin, the majority of these people are from the Middle East or the Far East. We're talking Asian countries like China, meaning they have to board an airplane to somehow make it to our southern border. Um, you think this is being done deliberately by the CCP, by the communist Chinese regime, to hurt the American economy and kill Americans? Well, I'm no Chinese communist expert. I'm a law enforcement guy who's been doing this a long time. Right. In 2009, I started watching the synthetic drugs being made in labs in China, uh, bath salts and K2 and spice. It was being dumped in our country. We had national news where people were dropping on the streets in D.C., New Haven, Connecticut, Chicago, they were dying because of this poisonous synthetic drug, uh, synthetic cannabinoids and synthetic cathinones. Then they transitioned to fentanyl. They saw how the fentanyl was killing. And if you talk to Chinese experts like Gordon Chang and others, they have said that this is part of the unrestricted warfare right. of the Chinese. Yeah. Scary stuff. None of this stuff was available when I was a kid, by the way. It's just, uh, it's scary. And I'm scared for kids out there that just don't know what they're, what they're taking. It's that deadly. Derek Maltz, uh, nice to see you again. Thanks so much for the information. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Rob. Always. Appreciate it.